hello and welcome to this power bi video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to create word cloud visualization correctly so let's get started now the first thing you want to do is to sign in with a corporate or school email address in my case i've signed in with my microsoft email address so i can see my name displayed at the top right hand corner of the screen now the visual is not part of the general visualization so we've got to import from the app source now to do that just click on this icon here more option more visuals or you can just click on this big icon that's going to open the app source and we can see arrays of visualization from third party company some are certified with this blue tick mark and some are not certified so we actually want to set for the word cloud so i'm just going to type in the search bar word cloud and then we can see the visualization just give it a single click and of course we can see the information about the visualization we can see the ratings and of course that's the reviews so we actually just want to add it to the general visualization and then we can create a report on it all right so we can see that the visual has been successfully imported so i'm just going to click on this ok button now we can see the w icon here with cloud around now to create our report or the visual just click on it and then we can see the shape of the visualization now we have three areas we have the category values and exclude now we actually want to see the unit across the state in the united states because we have a state column in our data set now for the category just click on add data and i'm going to search for state just click on it and then for the values i want to add the units so we actually want to see the unit across the state now this is state by unit now let's just expand a link sense of this now we can see we have this amazing word cloud visualization now we can tell easily that california has the highest units by state now another thing you can probably pay attention to is that we've got this new that's standing alone now in the united states we have states like new york new mexico new jersey and so on and so forth now even if you check around you might probably see um, something like north standing alone let's just check around we can actually see north here now we can this can actually mean north carolina or north dakota so we don't know whether this is for north carolina or north dakota so this visualization is actually incorrect now what we're going to do is that we need to format this and turn off something so i'm just going to click on this icon and click on format now we can see in the formatting we have the title we have the general just click on this general and of course we actually want to turn off the word breaking because the word is actually breaking now we have this is new this is york so it should be new york close to each other so i just want to turn off this word breaking so when i do that see what happened now we can see this is now New York and we can see this is district of Columbia. We can see other states like New Hampshire. We can see North Dakota, which is amazing. We can see New Jersey. We can see North Carolina. We can see New Mexico. We can see the South Dakota and so on and so forth. This is basically how we can correctly create word cloud visual in Power BI. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.